this video explains how masturbation is in reality a homosexual act. I'm going to be going through this in testimony fashion because I don't have any Bible scriptures to back this up or support it. I did not learn this through studying the scriptures. How I received this was through prayer because I was asking Jesus about my own testimony and things that I had experienced in my testimony. And very recently, Jesus explained to me what I'm about to tell you. So this is extra biblical, but that doesn't mean instantly that it's wrong. In fact, what I'm about to explain is an inverse. What I'm about to explain will actually support how masturbation is a sin because it's a homosexual act. Therefore, any Christians that don't believe that masturbation is a sin, because there are pastors and preachers out there, there are Christians out there that think it's fine and it's safe, and if you don't want to do it, just don't do it. I've, I've literally heard pastors preach this, or rather suggest it, when someone asked them about it. Uh, there's also people who will give advice saying, you know, it's natural, it's just hormones. It's not natural, it's not just hormones. There's more at play than just that. So I'm going to be uh, going through all of this more so on an experience and what I've heard from Jesus fashion rather than going through Bible verses and scriptures and so on. However, I will say that there is one verse in the Bible I did find uh, in the Old Testament that alludes to masturbation being a sin. That'd be Ezekiel 16:17 where God told Israel that they took his gold and silver and made images of men and prostituted themselves to it. Today, people literally do this with masturbation. People make sex toys and all of this stuff. And uh, even technically, uh, pornography and, and the different types of materials, you could think of that as images of men and women, and then people prostitute themselves to it. So that scripture is there. But what I'm about to explain really drives it home that masturbation is indeed, without question, a sin, because the Bible condemns homosexuality. Okay, so getting into this, what had happened is I said, I asked Jesus some questions about my testimony because I didn't understand why back in my past I was getting attacked and assaulted by homosexual spirits. I had some really weird experiences before coming to Christ and even after coming to Christ. Homosexual spirits were trying to chase me. I never gave in to them. It just was not my thing. It, w it was just something I wasn't weak against or it was something I just knew it wasn't for me. It, w it was not me. And this is one of the things that actually got my attention before I came to Jesus. I was wondering why these homosexual things were popping up. And I was told it was a pornography. It came to my mind spiritually, but I didn't really know anything about discernment or anything back then. So recently, when speaking and asking Jesus just about it, because I was just curious Jesus rocked my world with some of the information that he gave me, which is what I'm about to share with you. First of all, Jesus told me that homosexuality, the homo in homosexuality, he reminded me homo means same, and it means same sexual. That's in the Greek, it means same, and in Latin, it means man. And man here is actually mankind, not the gender man. So it has to be the Greek, because if it were the Latin, then we would be calling it mankind sexual. And technically, there's nothing wrong with mankind being mankind sexual. So what has happened here is that there are spirits out there deceiving all kinds of people to engage in homosexuality by having sex with themselves. You can't get any more same than yourself. Usually, we think of homosexuality as man with man, woman with woman, but no one really ever thinks about it with themselves having sex with themselves. And the truth is... If you're having sex with yourself, that is technically still same-gender sex, which is technically, by classification, homosexual. Think about it. Even if you are looking at heterosexual perversion while performing this act, the physical act itself is homosexual. Your thoughts or the material you're looking at might be heterosexual perversion, sure, but what you are doing is a homosexual, same sexual act. There's no other gender with you. It's only you. That's what Jesus pretty much started off with. Now, Jesus decided to also give me a history lesson, which I'm very thankful for. Jesus explained to me that homosexual spirits 
have used the porn industry to deceive many. Now, there's a few things that Jesus said to me that blew my mind in this conversation. And this is one of those things. Jesus told me that pornography is actually a creation of homosexuality. This blew my mind because of how much heterosexual pornography you see out there. But Jesus told me that the kingdom of the homosexual spirit, its particular reign, was extremely weak. Um, it was not nearly as powerful as adultery and fornication and prides and all, all the other sins out there. He explained to me that this spirit was really struggling with getting its authority and voice put out there. So pornography was introduced to mankind to deceive heterosexuals into feeding the homosexual kingdom because they, they, they weren't doing it before. And pornography was its weapon. Jesus explained to me that in the 70s, there was a serious boom with pornography and it exponentially grew in the 80s and the 90s, especially through the internet. He told me that during this time, this kingdom was just swallowing, devouring, and getting fat. By the 2000s and 2010s, homosexuality gained enough influence and strength to finally present itself as an authoritative voice in our current time. So I had always been wondering, since I noticed in the 2000s how homosexuality was just boom, it just popped out on the scene saying, listen, you have to do what we say now. I was wondering about this, and Jesus explained it to me. I wasn't even expecting this answer when he gave it to me. So we can basically thank masturbators, including myself, because I was, I was in that mix. We can thank masturbators for their large contribution to the homosexual kingdom that gave the homosexual kingdom its strength to now be where it's at today. If you don't believe me, you can take a look at the history yourself. And this isn't even the worst of it. This spirit doesn't only use pornography to feed its kingdom, as well as Jezebel's kingdom and Babel's kingdom and witchcraft and all of these other things. Pornography is really bad. It, it doesn't only feed homosexuality and so on. There's a lot of spirits in pornography that people can get, even rape spirits, violent spirits, aggression spirits. There are a lot of demons packed into pornography, but I'm not going to, this isn't a pornography video. I don't want to make it about pornography. Um, but the point that I'm trying to make here with this is that this spirit also uses pornography and masturbation to then force itself on people who it can force itself on. In other words, people who engage in masturbation and pornography, they're actually susceptible of being tempted to become homosexuals or at least bisexuals. And since I've started talking about this information, and even back when I was sharing my testimony about the connection with homosexual spirits and pornography, although I didn't know how deep it went back then, I've met a number of people who were able to testify that through masturbation and pornography, they were opened up to bisexuality and or homosexuality. And obviously, this isn't everyone, but the point is, this can be a door. I've met a number of people who were able to testify that they actually have been attacked by homosexual spirits or bisexual spirits. Some had given in and actually started going down that direction. I've met a number of people who were able to testify of the connection here. It wasn't just myself. The homosexual spirit's goal ultimately is to try and turn you into a homosexual. They'll either get you to masturbate and even think heterosexual thoughts, and that won't be enough. They'll try and push you into becoming bisexual or homosexual. And if they can't get you to do that, and let's say you're trying to repent and you're trying to turn away from pornography, you're trying to turn away from, from masturbation, one of the th other things that they will try and do is they'll still try and get you to entertain the thoughts in your head. And regarding entertaining thoughts in your head, those thoughts in your head are spirits. I've had experiences, like I said in my testimony, where Jesus had convicted me, and when the Spirit came to tempt me, Jesus had ripped the skin off of the image, the, the woman that was being presented to me, and I found that it was a spirit, and it was looked masculine. It didn't have a female body. It was, it was all blue and like almost like kind of like light, 
and it had a male body. It was a homosexual spirit. So anyone who engages in masturbation, even thinking about a person of the opposite gender, what's actually happening is you're having a homosexual spirit presenting itself as the gender you want, so you will have sex with it in your mind. This is how deep this goes. These spirits are not just simply homosexual spirits. They're, they're spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. They desire you. They want you to be theirs. They want to be able to sleep with you. They want to own you. They'll try and destroy your marriage if you have one. Or they'll try and stop you from even being able to marry if you desire to marry. Masturbation really opens up some doors to some demons that can do some serious destruction in your life if they're given room to do so. And when it gets you, it then milks you like cattle. It just starts taking from you, takes from both men and women, to feed its kingdom. That's what it wants to also do, is to feed its kingdom and increase in size. And what I also found interesting about how this whole masturbation thing feeds homosexuality, I would say more so than actual homosexuals, is I found out that people who decide to go into transgender stuff with literally getting body parts that don't belong to them, having it added on to them, they actually tell them that once they get this new part on their body to masturbate. They tell them to do this so they can be familiar with their body and so on, and that's not the, <laughs> that's not the spiritual reason why. They're telling them to do this to feed the demons that they just had it added on to them. This entire situation with masturbation, pornography, transgenders, all of this, it's all built by this homosexual kingdom. And this is why we're seeing it boom so hard right now. The last point I'm going to make here is actually about pornography. Because I said that pornography actually belongs to the masturbation kingdom. I'm going to validate that statement right now. It is a known fact that in pornography, you do see these actors and these actresses in this material. You do see them working with members of the same sex. It's there. I'm not, I'm not trying to sit here and talk about the elements of pornography. But the point I'm trying to make here is that these actors do have same sex partners somewhere in there. Even if they're not doing anything with each other, they're there. On top of the fact that you have cameramen and you have people behind the scenes, everyone's just sitting there watching these people, okay? You have men watching men, you have women watching women, and then there's scenes where you have more than two people in that scene, and there's only two genders, and there's scenes where you have more than two people. That still technically counts to be in the realm of homosexuality, because there's sexuality going on, and there's members of the same sex going on in there, on top of the rest of this perversion. Also, the acts that you see done in pornography, because they don't just simply do what God ordained for man to do. They do that plus more outside of marriage, obviously. And some of them, some of these people are married, but that's beside the point. The acts that they're doing are acts that are iconicized. They are mainly practiced by homosexuals because that's all they have. That's all they have. They, they can't do it naturally the way that Jesus ordained. So homosexuals have a list of different types of sexual acts that they do with each other. Pornography is filled with these acts, and it even has heterosexuals, a man and a woman, performing these same acts on each other. This is still feeding that kingdom. My next video, I'm going to be going into these unclean sexual acts in a little bit more detail, because the Bible actually does have some things to say about it, it's just that a lot of people have not realized where it is and the words used to describe them. But before we go to the next video, just to conclude this one, again, hopefully through watching this, it should be pretty clear that masturbation is indeed a homosexual act. Homosexual spirits are the ones who inspire it, using heterosexual bait to trap heterosexuals. And through this, people end up engaging in a sin of homosexuality when they masturbate so for sure masturbation is a sin plus all the things that i've mentioned all the extra information i mentioned here regarding and circulating around masturbation and homosexuality now i'm going to end this video and my next video is going to be on unclean sexual acts that a lot of christians are practicing even in their marriages 
and it is technically sin according to the Bible.